Hi, I am Ashikur Rahman from Accounting Celebrity. Welcome back to my channel where I upload couple of accounting tutorials. In this lesson, I'll show you how to calculate rate of inventory turnover. So let's get started. Okay, so here in this lesson, first of all, we will know what is rate of inventory turnover. Then we will have an example. I'll show you from this example how to calculate rate of inventory turnover okay so here what is rate of inventory inventory turnover is the rate at which a company replaces inventory over a specific period due to sales it is the number of times a company has sold and replaced its inventory calculating inventory turnover helps businesses make better pricing manufacturing marketing and purchasing decisions the formula can also be used to calculate the number of days it will take to sell the inventory on hand the higher the inventory turnover the better since high inventory turnover typically means a company is selling goods quickly okay so what is the formula to calculate the rate of inventory turnover okay we know the rate of inventory turnover equal to what cost of sales divided by average inventory yeah okay so let us write here cost of sales divided by average inventory Okay, so here we need to calculate the cost of sales and we have to know average inventory. So let us have a look at the question on this screen. The directors of JKY Limited provided the following information, okay, for the year ended at 30 April 2020. So this is the closing of the year, okay. So revenue is given here, purchases is given, then we have here at 30 April 2020, inventory $11,050. Trade receivables $28,700 and bank overdraft $6,280. Okay, so here we have inventory at 1st May 2019 was valued at $8,000. So this is the opening inventory. So in this question, we do not have any cost of sales. We do not have any average inventory. So first of all, we have to calculate cost of sales, then average inventory to calculate the rate of inventory turnover. Okay, so how to calculate cost of sales? Okay, so we know cost of sales equal to, by the way, another term of cost of sales is cost of goods sold, okay? Don't be confused, same thing. Okay, so let us write here, cost of sales equal to opening inventory plus purchase minus closing inventory okay so here on the question we have opening inventory which is at 30 april 2020 okay what is our opening inventory there okay inventory at first may 2019 was valued at eight thousand dollars okay so this is the beginning of the period we have inventory which is eight thousand dollars okay so this is an opening inventory so let us write here opening inventory eight thousand dollars okay then let us have a look at question once again we have here purchase which is one hundred twenty one thousand six hundred eighteen dollars okay so let us add this amount here one hundred twenty one thousand six hundred eighteen dollars okay very good then we have here closing inventory on the question okay what is this at 30 april 2020 inventory is 11050 dollar okay so this is the ending of the year so balance at the end of the year is closing balance means closing inventory okay so let us subtract this amount from this total so here we get 11050 dollars okay now what to do we have to calculate if we add these two amounts then if we subtract this eleven thousand fifty dollars what you get yes after calculation we get one hundred 
eighteen thousand five hundred sixty eight dollars. Okay, so this is our cost of sales. So we got cost of sales. Now we need to calculate average inventory. Okay, so how to calculate average inventory? It is also simple like this. How to calculate? So we know average inventory equal to opening inventory plus closing inventory yeah then divide by 2 okay so let us divide this by 2 okay so already we know we have opening inventory in the question which is here $8,000 so let us write here $8,000 Okay, then we have closing inventory. What is this? It is $11,050. So let us add this amount. $11,050. Okay. Now divide this amount by 2. Okay, so if you calculate, what is your average inventory? It is $9,525. Okay. Very good. So we calculated cost of sales. We calculated average inventory. Now we will put these values here in this formula to know our rate of inventory turnover. Okay. So here let us write this amount. So cost of sales we calculated here uh, $118,568. So let us write this amount here. $100. Eighteen thousand five hundred sixty-eight dollars. Okay, then we calculated average inventory, which is nine thousand five hundred twenty-five dollars. So we write this amount here: nine thousand five hundred twenty-five. Okay. Now, if you divide this amount by this, what we get? We get here twelve. Point forty five. Okay, so this is the rate of inventory turnover. So what is the unit here? It is dollar. No, it is not dollar. Okay, it is time. So here we will write twelve point four five times. Okay. So what does this mean? This means that business replaces inventory 12 times in a specific period of time okay so this is all about today's lesson i hope you enjoyed you understood this lesson if you think that this video is helpful for you please share with your friends and kindly consider subscribing to my channel because there are other so many accounting tutorials those will help you to learn accounting to understand accounting to prepare yourself for your exam or test good luck for your studies i'll see you soon with new video until then bye bye